Friends Thirsty Thursday, but it's not really Thursday. It's well, you're I'm Thursday. I'm, I'm Warren. Warren. You're, you're who? Warren. Sorry, I'm just talking over top of you. Um, it's uh, New Year's Eve. But the only the thing... The test beers yeah. tonight. Well, yeah. It's a... Uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, New Year's Eve is always a great night to go and have fun, but this is our fun, so... I don't know. We might get an invite still, you think? Uh, I might not go if we do. <laughs> Especially after drinking these beers. But anyway, um, we're glad you've joined us. If anybody's joined us on New Year's Eve, and of course this probably won't air till God knows when. But anyway, um, let's get started. Okay. You know what? I forgot my... Oh, you're... Do you have any bottles in there, first of all? Yeah, I actually I do. Okay. Yep, and that's what we're starting out. Um, we're starting right out with it. And we've got to have our bell. Ouch. Oh, that sounded like it hurt. Oh, it did. I probably didn't need that toe. But anyway, um, we're going to start right out with... Um, I'm laughing. <laughs> Your cap gun. Her daughter... You handed it to her and it was loaded and went off and oh. almost hit you. <laughs> <laughs> if I only would have had that on a flying deer cap. Yeah, uh, I don't even know how it got past me without me getting hit. But anyway, um, it's uh, this one is uh, this one was sent to us by friends of ours. Um, uh, Friday night beer tasting. They uh, sent us uh, uh, had some beers uh, brought to us and. Uh, we're very thankful for them in this uh, year. We've uh, gotten to uh, wow. hang out with them. 10%. <laughs> that should really catch him. It's a, a, he's already given away the alcohol, but it's a cream brulee, a southern tier. We've done a southern tier before. Do you remember the Irish cream? Or Irish? Kind yeah, of tasted yeah. like a... Kind of like a Bailey's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a cream brulee. Uh, by Southern Tier and Southern Tier Brewing Company is out of, uh, and it's a Blackwater Imperial Stout, um, but they are out of Lakewood, New York. Um, let's see, the Anytime Treat, a Blackstone Series Classic Cream Brulee, um, Showcases notes of smooth, creamy, vanilla, custard, and sweet caramel. Oh, I struggle here. Caramel. Entwined with black malt and milk sugar to create a truly decadent treat, treat worthy of its namesake dessert. Okay. All right, and um, our um, lovable chiefs were playing today. Yeah, got a nice Eve. shirt on there. Yep. And Did so, get you that? Yeah, my son got us, got me this. So, um, in honor of their field goal kicker Butker, I'm going to go <laughs> Thank through. Thank goodness the, for Butker. Yeah, I'm going for Butker. I'm going through the goal post. I'm really I'm thankful for Butker. Not Buck really Kirk. as good as him. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of lost his zip there. Mm, smells really good. It's an imperial stout, so keep that in mind. This might, maybe this 10% will help my toe that I just stubbed. Cheers. That's good. Cheers. To a new year. Mm. Pretty good. It tastes the vanilla. Mm hmm. Right up front. And the caramel. <coughs> you ever had a cream brulee? In a kind of a. I have. It's been a long time ago. Okay. It was a dessert. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know that I've ever had a cream brulee. You know? Um, maybe if we go out tonight, you can get me cream brulee. I don't plan on going out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we can get Uber to deliver a cream brulee. Uh, yes, our Chiefs won today. So happy. 
They needed a win. Yeah. But uh, anyway, this is uh, this is kind of it's this is it's sweet. It's um it's 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 a pretty good it's a pretty good beer. Um. Uh, it's. What's that mean? Uh, I guess I'm. I mean, Blackwater Imperial Stout. I mean, I don't really. <clears throat> I don't get some of that, but. I don't know. <clears throat> but. Uh, it's, it's not. A, it's a I sweet mean, dessert beer. It, it's not. It is. It's not it's for. Not, it's not a gulping beer no, for sure. You wouldn't want to. It's. Uh, you wouldn't want to have two or three of them as you're eating popcorn or something. Hmm. I think I could finish that one. That'd be about it. I could finish it. It's 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 a sip. It's and pretty beer. good, but I I just don't know if I could drink very much of it. <clears throat> Down the hatch. I forget we're on the clock here. Well, you know. All right. Put a little water with the remnants and it I almost know, looks just like just a regular thinking, beer. I was just thinking, you know, I don't really know if that's all rinsed out. But, um. All right, that was pretty good. Yep. And I'm really not any particular theme here other than maybe, you know, um. Let's see, I might, I might change it up. You know, when you're out tonight... And you're out and about because you know we done said we probably weren't gonna go out. There might be something that you might want to do tonight, like some nerdy dancing. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> that's what the beer is called, nerdy it's, dancing. It's um, nerdy with an N. Yeah, nerdy with an N. Um, it's a prairie artesian ale. It's a sour ale with crunchy sour candy. Um, of course it's got on it's there. It's going to taste really sour after oh. the one we just drank. Well, <laughs> uh, it's 4.8% on the alcohol, uh, brewed and canned by, uh, Krebs Brewing Company, McAllister, Oklahoma. There's a government warning. But, of course, they have these, you know, the F, D, and C, blue number one, two, red 40, yellow six, Yellow five. And of course, you know, Prairie always has some very interesting, uh, they always have a very interesting label. Um, all right. Um, so the Pioneer Woman ha has a restaurant yeah. near McAllister, Oklahoma. Right. I can't remember the town. I don't think it's McAllister, well, but it seems like it's pretty close. So it. maybe sometime we go there. I see a two for one there. Dinner and. Maybe stop by there, oh, artesian. This, this is not at all what I was expecting for n nerd. I mean, it's got sour obviously candy, yeah. nerd candy. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know which side to show on this thing. Well, I think you'd want to show the nerdy dancing. All right, this has the name and everything. Yeah, oh, whatever. It's uh, um, sour. I didn't realize our... <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. Right up front tastes like nerds. <laughs> you had that nerds I candy? don't think I've ever had a nerds candy. Right up front. Right up front. <laughs> Never had the desire. On the back side, kind of hits It's you. not bad. No. I thought, I was worried it was going to be one of those really, you know, pucker up sour things no, after drinking that sweet it, one. To me, I had nerd, the Nerds candy not too long ago. And, mm. Didn't our kids like that? Yeah. Well, our kids and you liked it. Well, I always ate what they didn't want. It's they, not bad. Whatever they forgot about. It's sweet right up front, and then it kind of hits you on the back side, but not bad. No, not real sour. No. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Did uh, Friday Night Beer Tasting send us that one also? They did. I just happened to pick both their beers right up <clears throat> in the beginning there. 
Um, you know, they they get the prairie artesian ales quite if, a bit. If we keep Steve the sh- likes the sour ones. The thing is, if we can keep this short tonight, which we're already ten minutes in, but we've got other beers we could try. If we, I don't know, we never go past four beers, but I mean, all right, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> You may not want to try the extra ones that well, we have. I don't. I do have them close by though. Just I'm in just case. saying, the last time you had, you spent hours trying to cut it down to twenty minutes or whatever. I didn't even get that done. Okay, so this one is um, all right. This one is one I got. Let me just tell you where I got this from. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Friday Night Beer Tasting, you probably can guess where I got that one. Um, this is Left Hand at Brewing Company Chai. Excuse me, it's a milk stout. Um, 5% on the alcohol, 22 IBUs. Um, it's not too bitter. Our, brewery, our, brewers, our brewers blend of aromatic spices richly complements our classic milk Stout. Um, from our hands to yours, um, Left Hand Brewing Company, they always have uh, fairly good beers. Um, let's see. Stout with spices added. Um, and uh, Left Hand Brewing Company is out of Long... Is that Longmont, Colorado? Long... Longmont. Longmont, Colorado. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Which, my sister right now is out in Colorado skiing. Lucky, lucky her. Oh. I don't know what I was expecting. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be that bad. I guess I was milk, thinking... Milk stout, though, I guess. Well, I, I know stouts, you know... I don't know. I guess I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter. You know... Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. I can taste the cinnamon. You can taste, taste the cinnamon. cinnamon. It's just, it's a strong beer, period. 22 I've used, but we've had stuff that was 35 or 40. And, um, yeah, it's not, it's not what I'd call real bitter. No. It's just strong. Right up front it's strong, and then it kind of... I think if it side. didn't have a lot of cinnamon in it, it'd really be strong. I mean, the cinnamon saves it. I think it's cinnamon, don't you? Yeah. Cinnamon or, well, I guess, yeah, cinnamon. I don't know what else it would be. Hmm. I mean, that's what I taste. We've tried um, others by left hand. We haven't tried anything from them in a while but we had a peanut butter one do you remember that Mm -hmm. that one was pretty good oh this ain't bad this might be a little hard Mm. I don't know I'm not sure which one (laughs) leans you I like all of them Well, um, so I don't know that anybody would be watching at this point, but um, if you are, um, we appreciate all of you that have uh, subscribed. We kind of we went through a milestone. We've hit a milestone since we our last video, which I haven't published our last video, but we went over a hundred subscribers. Wow. So. Um, very thankful for that. Yes, indeed. Uh, all right. We just do it because we enjoy it, but we appreciate it. Right. We appreciate all our, all our viewers. Sub- subscribers, viewers, whatever. Um, I mean, because we have a lot of viewers, but people that view our stuff, but really have not subscribed. And, and that's okay, too. Yeah. That's okay, too. All right. Um, this last one, I guess it's going to be the last one. How much time we got? We're not quite at 15 minutes, but really close. Um, 
This one's Public House Cream Ale. Hmm. It's an American cream ale. Um, Public House, that's... Oh! That's... Uh, that's another beer that... That's by Rolla, isn't it? They're close. Yeah, uh, they make St. it... St. James. Or make it hard so you can't read the label. Um, Public House is... Um, St. James, Missouri. Brewed and canned by Public House Brewing Company in St. James, Missouri. It is 5.3% on the alcohol. It was kind of a simple thing. It'd be can. an easy drive for us to go I'm not, there sometime. I don't know that we've ever had any of this beer. Oh, yeah, we. I think we have. Really? Public House, yeah. Do you remember? I just don't think so. That's, that, a, that's what a beer is supposed to look that's like. That's a pretty beer, <laughs> yeah. I like a beer that... I. I I mean, I do like stouts, but I do like a pretty looking beer. So. And that's a good looking can, too. Yeah, it is. Um, cheers. Does that mean you don't like it, or you just... It doesn't taste like anything. You think it is? I, I don't. I don't taste anything. I taste nothing. Tastes like an ale beer to me. Tastes like an ale, but what I you're cream? Just, you're, after that one and that one especially, I mean, anything that wasn't stout and strong would taste bland, probably. Probably, but... <clears throat> It's not bad. I don't like it. Yeah, I can tell. It's not going to get my vote. <laughs> it's just so... I can tell. I mean, if I was just... That's a beer you could probably... I don't know if I'd even drink that all night. I mean, it's not bad, but it's really plain. That's all I had, I would. I don't know. It, well... <clears throat> Maybe I'm not giving it enough chance, but it's there's nothing distinctive really about it. It tastes like an ale to me. It yeah, I mean that's no doubt, but I don't know why they name it cream ale. I can't I don't really um, get that. I don't know. I I don't know. I didn't I mean it didn't have much of no. anything on the can. No. I don't really think we've done ever a beer on for public house. A St. James beer. I think you're thinking of the um, big <clears throat> tiny stuff. We've done those. Yeah. And I, I knew. Re, rewind the tape, and I, you'll see where. As soon as I heard Public House, I knew where it was at. Clyde, there. I know, but there's no pub. <laughs> there's no. There's no. I just don't think so. I mean, the name's not Clyde. <laughs> I just, I don't think I would even, I don't know. I, I wouldn't give it a very, uh, or do you want to try to fit in one more? We're at 18 minutes. I don't think we got time for one more. Because then you'll be, you'll spend hours trying to cut it down to 20 or 21 minutes. Well, that's not it. And I never cut that down. I kind of only got two minutes cut out well, of the 30 you, minutes. You spent a long time trying to cut well, it down. Just I because did. you didn't you, doesn't mean. Well, you have to go through every. Here we go. Here. Yeah, you have to go through every little bit. But All anyway, right. um, okay, so if I'm not going to, I don't even think that should be in the mix. Well, of course it should be. It's got to, something's got to go up against it. You can't just automatically shun one of the beers because you don't like it. Okay, so. if it goes against one of these others here, I might pick it. Do you want even, you want to retry? I don't think I need to. Really? I, I might mean, retry this one. All right. You don't want to even no, look No, I'll try a little bit more. <clears throat> I can really, now I can really smell the... 
Okay. Vanilla. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I've got an idea. We okay. just tried this one, we just tried this one. They're both creams. <laughs> That's all right. That's fine. I, mean, I thought you were going to do the dark beers together, but I'll I'll go with you on that one because I'm not in love with that one. It doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. It's not near as creamy as that. Okay. Now, between these two, Nerdy Nancy or Mil the Milk Stout, can I try one of them again? Yeah. into here. About the same. I mean, it is about the same, but man, it's just, um, it's like eating candy right up front a little bit. It's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yes, it is. It's like it's like drinking candy to me. I think. You gonna try that? <laughs> <laughs> wow! I would. I know which way you're voting. <laughs> I'm going to try it. All right. <laughs> you know, just be nice, okay. at least. I, I just didn't like it. Oh, now it comes out. <laughs> I smell it. Don't act like you've not given away your... You, you didn't even want to put this one in the in the voting. You hated it so bad. Good well... <sighs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it is good. I just I thought it wouldn't set well with me mixing it with these other beers. That's why I didn't want to try it again. Really? Yeah. Um, I, I, so I don't really get the milk part. Do you? No. Nope. It's not. It doesn't have chocolate in it. No. But I mean, those are cinnamon sticks on the. I kind of think those are cinnamon sticks yeah. right there. Yeah. It, I mean, it definitely it has that. Like cinnamon, yeah. Um, it's it's not that bad. It's just, um, I don't know. <clears throat> um, it's a, I don't know what chai means. Do you? No. I'd have to look that up. Sounds Chinese. Oh. All right. All right. We got to vote here. Wait. Uh, I mean, I'm voting for the nerdy dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Too. Okay. Now, um, these two are these two are out. This right. is this is you know third. Yeah. Anyway, um, between those two, I go with the Prairie Ale. Really? Yep. Not the cream brulee? No. Nope. What? This is everything it says it is. You said it tasted just like the nerd candy. It really candy. does. It really does. That's, that's, it's a hard one. This, I think, is, it's, this is a good beer. But this is probably better. Because it does taste exactly what it says it tastes like. And for us to go with the sour, yeah. wow, I mean, that's just, right. I mean, first Good of point. all, 
it doesn't always happen, but um, that's an exceptional beer. Um, Southern Tier, yeah. they put out, remember the Irish one? We yeah. talked about it. If I was just going to drink one beer, it'd be okay. It, it's a I, heavy, I couldn't do more it's a heavy one. beer. Right. Um, right. I, I don't, I like that, but I don't know that I could drink too mm. much more than yeah. one of those either. Probably not. Uh, but anyway, um, all right. Um, we have our winner. Nerdy Dancing. I won for um, once. Nerdy Dancing are um, the, uh, uh, by um, Prairie Artesian Ale is our winner. And um, do you want any of this going out? Sure. Have a little bit. Um, it's our winner for sure. I mean, it's I mean it's got it's a funky color, um, but um, it's a great taste. Yep. Uh, cheers, cheers, and we will Thanks. see you on another Thursday.